art by Inked Playmats at inkplaymats.com. Your place for custom-made playmats. Design your own or shop from other featured designers. Use promo code CLOTSDILL to save 10% on your order. Inked Playmats. Your game, your style. ...to do on their website and come join us for a fun-friendly F&M environment. Hello everybody, this is Kevin from Clots Productions and welcome back to Game 2 of the match between Blue White Delver and Blue Black Zombies. Delver was on the play for this game and started off by laying down a sea chrome coast and casting a Delver of Secrets. However, Zombies immediately laid down a swamp and killed it with a tragic slip. Delver then just laid down an island and passed, then Zombies played a Cavern of Souls naming Zombies. He then cast a Diagraph Ghoul which came in a play tapped. Delver just played a Plains and passed his turn again, then Zombie attacked this Ghoul, taking Delver to 18. He then put a Drowned Catacomb into play and played a Garoff's Messenger, taking Delver to 16. Delver just played Land Go again, and then Zombies played a Diagraph Captain. Delver went to 14 to use a Gut Shot and do 1 damage to the Captain. He then flashed in a Snapcaster Mage and flashed back the Gut Shot, going to 12 to finish it off. He then traded a Snapcaster with a Diagraph Ghoul during attacks and took the other 3 from the Messenger, going down to 9. Delver played a Ponder on his turn and rearranged the top 3 cards of his library and then drew a card. He then played a Blade Splicer, bringing a Golem along with it. Zombies played a Mortar Pod on his turn and then threw the Germ at the Blade Splicer to kill it. He then attacked with his Messenger, which Delver traded for with his Golem. However, the Messenger came back from Undying, dropping Delver down to 7. He then attached the Mortar Pod to his Messenger before passing the turn. Delver then laid down a Cavern of Souls of his own, naming Humans. He then played a Time of Reinforcements, taking himself back up to 13 and getting 3 Soldier Tokens. Zombies attacked with his Messenger again, so Delver just chose to chump block it with one of his soldiers. Then post-combat, Zombies played another Messenger, dropping Delver to 11. Delver just passed his next turn, and then Zombies played another Diagraph Captain. He then attacked with his two Messengers. The Delver player flashed in a Restoration Angel and traded with one of the Messengers. He also chump blocked the other one with another Soldier Token. When the Messenger died, Delver lost one life from the Captain. Then the Messenger came back from Undying, dropping Delver down to 8. Delver played another Snapcaster Mage on his turn and flashed back his timely reinforcements. He gained 6 life going back up to 14 and got himself 3 more Soldier Tokens. Zombies then attacked with both of his Messengers again, so Delver chose to trade all 4 of his Soldiers with one of them. When it died, Delver lost 1 from the Captain and then another 5 from the other Messenger going right back to 8. Delver played a second Delver of Secrets on his turn along with a Geist of St. Traft. Zombies then laid down an Evolving Wilds and immediately sacrificed it to go find himself an island. He attacked with his Messenger again, so Delver just chump blocked it with his Snapcaster Mage. Delver revealed a Vapor Snag on the top of his library during his next upkeep, transforming his Delver of Secrets into an Insectile Aberration. He then attacked with the Aberration along with his Geist of St. Traft, bringing a 4 4 Angel along with it. Zombies chose not to block anything, so took the 9 damage, going down to 11. Zombies then attacked with both of his creatures on his next turn. Delver chose to use his Vapor Snag to bounce the Messenger and took the other two from the Captain, going down to 6. Zombies then replayed the Messenger, taking him to 4. He then equipped it to his Mortar Pod and threw it at the Delver player. This did another damage to him and took another life from him because of the Captain. Then when it came back from Undying, it took his last two life, giving Zombies the win to the game and the match. So, that's it for this match. I hope you all enjoyed it. You can find the full version of this gameplay in the annotations at the end, along with links to my vlog and my Let's Play Duels of the Planeswalkers 2013. If you like this or any other video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and add it to your favorites, then subscribe to be notified when more videos are online.